Okay, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to take a look at how we install Windows 10 with the use of Microsoft's media creation tool. Now, I'll put a link in the description to where you can go and get the tool. This is more of a guide and just sort of showing you the process of installing it. It's not always going to be the same on every computer, so just use this as a guide to give you a bit of an idea of what's going to happen. And as always, remember to back up any important data before you start doing anything like this. So let's get into this now and see how we go through the process. Okay then, from the desktop, we open our browser on the Microsoft Media Creation Tool page, which I've put a link to in the description. And then we're going to choose between 32-bit and 64-bit. Most computers now are running 64-bit, mine is running 32. Uh, it won't let you run the wrong one. So once we've downloaded that, we run it. That's going to bring up user account control. We're going to yes to that. And then we can close the browser down. Now the Windows 10 setup dialog box will open and we need to select upgrade this PC now and then click next. Now Windows 10 will be downloaded and depending on your connection will depend on how long it's going to take. I'm going to pause the video now at different stages just to keep this video short. So once your download is finished, it will then be verified. Then you'll get a dialog saying that it's creating the Windows 10 media. And then after that, Windows will prepare the files and get ready for the install process. Once we hit 100%, Windows will check for any updates that you can apply during the install. And then it will check your system and make sure you're ready to install Windows 10. Again, I'm pausing this video so it will take longer on your computer. Then it will check make sure you've got enough space on your PC to install and then you'll be given some other options. Now because we're doing an upgrade on this install, we're going to install Windows 10 Pro and keep files and apps. You can change the settings underneath but for this video I'm just going to concentrate on how we upgrade rather than how we do a clean install of Windows with a format which I will cover in a later video. So your computer is going to restart a few times and I'm going to continue to pause this to keep the video short. So now we start on the main upgrade of Windows, it's going to configure files and then it's going to go through the whole installation process. And again this may take a while so I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to it as it moves on through the install. Okay so sometime later we're going to be finishing the install and you'll see there we've got our account to log into and we click next. This is going to give us a, a brief description of using Express settings. If you wanted to learn more about it and see what you're applying here, you can choose the option down there. This is just going to show us a few different things that's new to Windows 10. And we just click Next, and it's going to finalise the settings. So after that, we'll find ourselves on the lock screen of Windows 10. So we click anywhere on the lock screen, and that's going to take us to our login screen where you can see your account, and you'll notice that this is a Microsoft account that I'm logging into, so all the settings should be there. Windows will now do some final setting up. It says this won't take long, but that depends on the speed of your computer that you're installing this on. And then once all that's taken care of, you'll be on your Windows 10 desktop. So that's a guide and a look at how we install Windows 10 using Microsoft's media creation tool and I'd like to thank you for watching.